All right, Johnny McGonigal. If you came to Penn State today at Beaver Stadium expecting a, def a defensive-minded 10 nothing shutout for Blue White, you got your wish. You sure did. Uh, everyone came to Beaver Stadium on Saturday <laughs> for a, a 10-point struggle. Um, no, we, we saw some. We saw some good things, right. uh, both Agreed. offense, defense. Uh, you know, still some questions, obviously, going into the summer uh, yeah. and, and going into the training camp. But, you know, the, the points that we kind of came into this game looking at, the third wide receiver mm -hmm. battle, obviously quarterback, you yeah. know, we saw the depth along the defense. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of stuff to take with us that we'll have to unpack here in, in the next not only few days but few weeks and months until we get yeah. football again in August, Bob. But, yeah, um, yeah a real barn burner here at uh, Beaver State. Well, to, to be fair, yeah, I mean, obviously Penn State fans were kidding, but yeah, they yeah. weren't going to play Nick Singleton and Kate John no. Allen much, if at all. The top two tight ends, Theo Johnson and Tyler Warren, did not play. Olufushanu, who could not finish last year due to an injury, um, is a big part of the offense. He did not play. You know, two new, two new quarterbacks. And plus, they're going against a pretty athletic yeah. defense. It was a recipe for not a lot of points. Um, we saw Drew Aller and Bo Prabula almost extensively. Um, I think both of them did some good things. Drew did show off his army at the only touchdown pass. But I thought there were some uh, some things I thought that stood out to me were a couple of young defenders for one. But let's talk to about the receivers. You mentioned the fact that, yeah. hey, they need a third receiver. James keeps talking about it. Omari Evans. Uh, they moved his position from outside it into the slot. I think he had five for 80 and a touchdown from Drew. And I thought Caden Saunders, you know, a hype recruit two years ago who, by his own admission, just really wasn't ready last year, even after enrolling in January, physically or mentally. He started to show some of the things that made him such a high-profile recruit. So I think that gives Penn State some hope. But, yeah, the offense is just not ready yet, and I think the summer and August could be really critical. Yeah, this was by no means the offense that you'll be seeing right. against West Virginia uh, on, so. on September 2nd, right? So. You know, with no Theo Johnson, no Tyler Warren, your top two tight ends yeah. out. And Dante Cephas, uh, the Kent State transfer that hasn't enrolled yet, will do so after the semester. Uh, he could be your number one wide receiver, but yeah. you got him, Keandre Lambert-Smith, uh, and Harrison Wallace. But we were curious what other receiver might step up. And the fact that Amari and Caden did two 2022 signees that – both yeah. came in with a lot of pedigree, high, you know, high stars, all that kind of good yeah. stuff. But, uh, you know, aside from a touchdown from Drew Aller in the Ohio game, Omari didn't do a whole lot last year. I mean, he played some snaps. Caden didn't do much of anything last year. So to see both of them take some positive steps here and finish their spring strong, um, I, I think is a good sign for both of them. Uh, Omari uh, talked to, just talked to him in yeah. the Beaver City media room and he said that he expected this of himself. This is kind of how he envisioned the end of spring going. He felt he had a good camp, and so uh, that's only positive vibes for him going into the summer. Yeah, we got to talk about two young defensive players and fans that were either at the game or they watched it on TV. They kind of jumped off the screen. One is denied Dennis Sutton, yeah. who, you know, five-star signee, and everyone was just waiting. You know, he had had to bide his time last year. Didn't get here till August. He was behind a couple of pretty good defensive ends and Chop Robinson and Adisa Isaac. Nick Tarburton was on the team and he started and also a mean Van over. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a different guy this year after going through the weight program. He's up to 262 and he is lethal with that first step. Look, he worked he worked the left and the right side, Johnny, against Caden Wallace and Drew Shelton. It was not a good day for either no, one of them. He is a fierce defensive end and as good as Chop and Adisa are, I don't think it's going to be very long before a lot of people are going to be putting him maybe as maybe Penn State's best defensive end. I know that's saying a lot, but I think he's that good. Yeah, well, James Franklin said after uh, after the, yeah, he called him unblockable, <laughs> and he said that he considers him a starter. Now, yeah. James has done this in the past where he'll look at a position that has two starters yeah. Yeah. and say, hey, I consider these three guys starters. But, I mean, he really has the talent. He was the Whoa. highest rated player in the 2022 recruiting class for a reason. Drew and Nick Singleton were in that right, class. Right, exactly. And so, yeah, I mean, he's uber talented off the edge. Game. I mean, made just... He was incredible, and so was K.J. Winston as well at yeah. safety. Uh, Jair Brown leaving, that's a position sure. that has a lot of talent, a lot of young talent, uh, and I think K.J. Winston stood out. Tony Rojas Tony as Rojas, well, boy. the early enrollee linebacker, was all over the field. So if you're Manny Diaz and you're looking at this tape, I'm, I'm real. it's what you want to see. I mean, I kind of smirk what James Franklin said a couple weeks ago that Tony Rojas gained 30 pounds in like, you know, 
10 weeks. I'm yeah. like, that can't be possible. But you look at him, you look at how he played, played with an edge. Yeah. First guy to the football, I think he had nine tackles, six solos, a pass breakup, half a tackle for loss. You would think there's not a lot of room to play him at outside linebacker when you got Abdul Carter, you got Curtis Jacobs. Manny Diaz is going to make time to he's get this guy on see the, the field. field. And if they yeah. ever put those three guys on the field at the same time in some kind of hybrid defense, I don't know what. I mean, I just think that those are three elite playmakers. And you, you put those defensive ends on the field, too, with, the, with that corner room. This is his best defense if they're all healthy, and I, there's no question in my mind about it. It's all depth. I mean, the fact that you lose Joey Porter Jr. Yep. and you lose Jair Brown and you lose P.J. Mustafer, and the defense could still be the best in the Big Ten next year. I mean, there's a real chance of that. And P.J., though, the losing him at D tackle, yeah. I think is still an issue that they're going to address. The transfer portal also opened up in the FBS today. Uh, James mentioned it in his post-game press conference that defensive tackle depth is something that they'll want to address in the portal. Uh, I think they will. They'll be after. They'll be after every top guy at D tackle, trying to find a one technique to replace uh, PJ. But a lot of talent on that D line, linebacker, secondary. Uh, Manny Diaz has a lot to work with. Yeah. So we're done with spring. Penn State's done yeah. with spring. That that two things to watch for, I think, in the off season for sure is Dante Cephas from Kent State, the transfer guy, getting to campus, getting acclimated with the quarterbacks, and seeing how he impacts. You know that room and Penn State just kind of getting healthy they held a lot of guys out James said even though they held a lot of guys out they he expects all of them to be healthy um, there's a lot there's a lot of intriguing pieces for this team and I think uh, if they could put it all together uh, it, you know in the summer months and then hit the ground running in August this is a dangerous team and I, I even though you didn't see a lot from the offense I think James Franklin and his coaching staff feels really good about this team